93. O thou maidservant of God, every woman who becometh the maidservant of God outshineth in glory the empresses of the world, for she is related to God, and her sovereignty is everlasting, whereas a handful of dust will obliterate the name and fame of those empresses. In other words, as soon as they go down to the grave, they are reduced to naught. The maidservants of God's kingdom, on the other hand, enjoy eternal sovereignty unaffected by the passing of ages and generations. Consider how many empresses have come and gone since the time of Christ. Each was the ruler of a country, but now all trace and name of them is lost, while Mary Magdalena, who was only a peasant and a maidservant of God, still shineth from the horizon of everlasting glory. Strive thou, therefore, to remain the maidservant of God. Thou hast praised the Convention. This Convention shall acquire great importance in future, for it is serving the Divine Kingdom and the world of mankind. It promulgateth universal peace, and layeth the basis of the oneness of mankind. It freeth the souls from religious, racial, and worldly prejudices, and gathereth them under the shade of the one-coloured pavilion of God. Praise thou, God, therefore, that thou hast attended such a convention, and hast listened to the divine teachings.